Hello everyone. Welcome to another tutorial on civil Nirman. So in today's tutorial, we are going to discuss some stair file extensions which are developed when you run your stat pro analysis file. So let's get started. So all of you must be aware that when you are running your particular design or analysis file, there are so many temporary files generated in your stat folder. So have you ever so have you ever wondered why stat is generating so many temporary files in these stat file locations? So in this tutorial, we are going to understand what are these files and why they are generated with the brief description about each file extensions which are generated after running a stat analysis. So as you can see over here, currently I have a building model. So if I run my analysis, right? So after running the analysis, there will be so many temporary files which will be generated in my stat model file, right? So we will understand the category of the files, their extensions and what are they represents. Okay, so let me just go to the post processing mode and then I'll take you to the stat file folder where these files are generated, right? So you can observe as you can see over here, there are so many temporary files generated over here. So we will understand these file categories, how they are generated and what they represent. So let me take you to the stat file categories which are generated. So first of all, we will discuss what are the category of the stat files which are generated. So basically when you run your analysis, these are the kind of category. So these are the category of the files which are generated mostly in your stat file where you have saved your stat model, right? So these are basically total eight categories. The first one is the intermediate or auxiliary data files. Second one is the common analysis results, node results member results than load generation plate or solid results now see if your model contains any plate or solid element or surface element so based on that some temporary files will be also generated right then if you have a dynamic analysis then based on that the pushover analysis results and if you have applied a design parameter track to so based on that it will generate your design output files in different formats so let's take a look on each individual category one by one. So first of all, we will start with the auxiliary or intermediate data files. So in the auxiliary or intermediate data files, you may find following category of the files. You may find following category of the temporary files, right? So as you know, our main stat file contains .std extension, right? That is the main stat file which will represent the with the red or blue icon depending upon your stat version. So let me just take you over here. See, these are our main files with the with dot std extensions, right? Let's get back to the main point again. Then we have different category of two formats like dot png, dot emf or dot rei. So basically .png and .emf represents the thumbnail of the model to be used in the file preview. .rei extension represents save picture for which will be used in your reports. Then we have another extension category that is the metadata which represents information related to the input file like job information, analysis traces, etc, etc. These are other several categories, right? Now see, if you have the stat foundation data files, then it will be in terms of the foundation.xml or foundation.sva formats, right? For the stat foundation. .slg and .slv represents the user settings like labels, scales, orientation, etc. And .slv represents information of master slave commands. Now let's take a look on the other one. Now, if you have the RCDC model, then that file extension will be in terms of RCPS or RCDX. And for the building planner data file, that will be in terms of .plnx or .plan1. .adfx represents the steel auto drafter data file. 
right so in the newer connect editor version we have still auto rafter as well so that file extension will be in terms of dot adfx dot log represents the log file from analysis engine now the second category now the second category represents the common analysis results so that will be that data will be stored in this particular type of extensions over here so dot anl so if you refer your output folder there is a file with dot anl extension which contains your analysis output dot num represents the numerical instability information in a similar manner if you have the shear wall then the dot sle temporary file will be generated which contains the shear wall information right for the equilibrium or static check results dot eql file is generated so you can check out this one for the mat foundation we have dot mat extension temporary file these are several other categories you can refer that dot tim then dot frc for the displacement history information or model frequency information dot dmp represents the damping matrix result file also dot rsp represents the response spectrum results file so these are the several category based on type of analysis that you carried out this particular category of the temporary files will be generated in your stat output now let's take a look on the node results now if you have the node results then that node results will be available in terms of the temporary file format like .dsp .rea which represents the nodal displacement and support reactions also if you have the dynamic analysis then in that case .tmh represents the time history displacement information right and for steady state model displacement per mode you can refer .mhs or .har file now keep in mind that if your stat file contains the static or dynamic analysis based on that these results or the temporary files will generate it okay so this is just information regarding the types of file that are created in your output file with several dot extensions so here i am representing each file with their briefing or description the next we have the member result files so that files will be based on the following extension with dot scn dot bmd dot dgn dot dbs and several other categories you can check out over here right so dot scn represents the section displacement dot bmd contains the member forces similarly dot dgn or dbs contains the member design results database now if you have shear wall right so in the member category results dot sgn will be represent your shear wall design output information so that file dot sgn file contains shear wall design output information similarly you can refer these other data files next one based on load generation you have the following categories if you have the moving load like we have the gantry loads so that particular moving load information will be stored in the .mov file and for the ubc load information the file extension is .ult now if you have model plates or solid in your stat files the temporary files that are generated with the extension .est ejt or ecf that will contain the following plate element stress results or joint stress results dot e e dot esf represents the plate element corner forces and dot ssc represents solid element stresses next one now if you have the dynamic analysis like pushover analysis th then when you run your file it will contains the following category of the temporary files with the pot dot psp dot pds or dot pjd extension which represents your pushover analysis capacity curve information demand spectrum information or analysis nodal displacement results right and dot psr represents the support reaction results now the next one is track to design now the next one is track to design outputs now based on the codal selection 
or code code provision that you have selected for your particular design based on that the temporary file will be generated currently i am only discussing the temporary files which are related to the indian code right so dot i so the file extension with dot is2 represents your output for the indian state design limit state method which is based which is based on limit state method for the cold form state design based on indian british or canadian code that file extension which store the information in terms of dot cc2 file extension dot in2 represents still design is800 based on working stress now if you have shear wall design information that will be stored in terms of dot sh2 file extension so these are all eight categories based on which stat generates temporary files in your stat file locations where you have stored your stat file so i hope this video helps you out and you are getting some information that why this particular files are generated in your stat modeling folder right so basically it is creating your data depending upon the type of analysis that you have performed also if you want daily design tips you can check out our instagram or linkedin page links are given in the description box so you can follow us on instagram on linkedin as well don't just learn software learn concepts thank you